Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you a great option for the C-suite or any formal occasion while being minimal and comfortable. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Grown and Healthy, a channel where we explore self-improvement through movement. Now, ever since I began wearing minimal shoes, I've sworn off most, if not all, conventional shoes, except for the dress shoe. Due to a lack of choice amongst the minimal shoe manufacturers, and also due to the rare occasion that I actually attend an event, because of that, I've not placed much of an emphasis on shopping for a pair. Amongst conventional shoes, I find the dress shoe to be the most damaging of all shoes. I think they do the most to short circuit your gait. Most shoes have the inflexibility and the weight of a cement block. Now the people at Carrots have decided to take care of this underserved and maligned group and they have developed a pair of minimalist shoes for formal occasions and for the office. They've taken an alternative approach by deciding to make basically a hybrid in terms of a conventional shoes appearance but the mechanics of a minimal shoe. And I think they did a good job in that compromise. So let's take a look at them. Now I love the nice details that they've provided, uh, such as the shoe bags and even a shoe tree, denoting the high quality and the details that were put into the production of the shoe. Now, in this video, I'll be reviewing their Oxford shoe. Now, the people at Carrots were nice enough to send a pair for me to review, but as with all of my reviews, I'm not being paid to say anything nice about this company, and this will be an honest and unbiased review of the shoe. Carrots is an established manufacturer in the minimal shoe space taking an innovative idea to the people through a successful crowdfunding campaign almost seven years ago. The company provided me with a pair of their Oxfords in the Oxblood color for this review. Now, my first impression of the shoe was that they really paid great attention to the details and the request of most barefoot shoe wearers. I was astonished to see how much of the shoe was actually conventional in appearance. The innovation is in the design. While looking conventional, it is anything but. And by that, I'm talking about mainly the heel height, which is a staple in formal shoes, which can be anywhere from a 10 millimeter height to even a 20 plus millimeter in heel height. While seeing a 20 millimeter height on the heel does not contain any heel height at all. This is a zero drop shoe. The 20 millimeter appearance belies the fact that it isn't raised at all. Through a patented design, they've managed to give the looks of a formal conventional shoe with the functionality of a barefoot shoe. Now, attention to detail does not go unnoticed in the leather upper. The full grain leather upper is of high quality leather with detailed stitching, which is missing from most shoe designs currently. The sock liner has only a subtle pad that is easily flattened with the press of a finger. The polyurethane outsole, while having the styling of a conventional dress shoe, contains none of the rigidity, and while Carrots does not recommend any sports activity while wearing them, they still were more flexible than a pair of conventional basketball shoes. Air Force Ones. The heel is not the only qualifier for a barefoot shoe, though. The toes also demand freedom from the archaic pointed designs of most conventional shoes. And I found that the toe box on these Oxfords to be ample enough to wiggle my toes freely. Now, they've sent me a 11 double E and they based that upon the measurements that I had sent the company. Be very specific in your sizing when ordering so that you get the best fit because while I would not have thought of getting an 11 double E, because usually I buy an 11.5, these shoes fit well. If that is not enough in terms of the toe box width, they also provided elastic 
shoelaces in order to get even further width from the shoes. And if that's not to your liking, they also come with a standard pair of regular laces. I thought the design was a fresh look at the old stodgy designs that encase your feet like a coffin. To give you a idea of the proportions of the shoes, I will say that on this 11 double E, the forefoot width comes in at 108 millimeters and the heel at 78 millimeters. These shoes are also lightweight, especially considering that they're dress shoes, weighing in at 12.7 ounces per shoe. Now styling is primarily a focus for most consumers and we cannot discount that. I feel that the more important factor is whether the shoe is comfortable or not. And because of the polyurethane sole, they're able to create not just the look of a common dress shoe without the stiffness, but an ease of use and wear that could only be thought of in a sneaker. I think the polyurethane outer sole needs a little more grip. I found them to be slippery. And while this is usually the case with any new pair of conventional shoes, I thought this material would provide better grip out of the box. I hope to provide a future update as I wear in the shoes sufficiently. Along with having a zero drop heel, they try to minimize the toe spring as much as possible while making it look conventional. And I understand the aspect of making it look as conventional as possible. And while I'm not a fan of toe spring, it is a minimal toe spring. And because of the polyurethane outer sole, it is easily depressed as you walk into the shoe. Now, for those who spend most of their day in an office environment or at formal events as part of their work day, this is a great alternative to the pain that we would normally endure in conventional shoes. I would definitely check these shoes out on their website, carrots.com, C-A-R-E-T-S, and they even provided a discount code. I'll put that in the description below. Again, this is Grown and Healthy. Thank you for watching.